most of human civilization. We believed that life could only exist on the surface of our planet. What else were we wrong about? Welcome to my world. Won't you come on in? This world has more secrets than we could possibly imagine. Miracles I get. Still in the new, now and then. What is that? That's not Kong. Who could have done this? can't stop this on his own. He won't be alone. Kong. Welcome back, everyone. It's Charlie. There's a brand new Godzilla x Kong trailer. Godzilla and Kong teaming up against this new orangutan titan, which they're calling the Scar King, like the new main villain titan in the trailer. So we'll break it all down. There's a whole bunch of Easter eggs here. And we have Son of Kong. Is that a mini Kong? Like he literally calls it a mini Kong. I can't wait to see all the Kong Infinity Gauntlet memes when this comes out. Like, is he wearing an Infinity Gauntlet? Did they give him an Infinity Gauntlet? Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Between this coming out next year, Godzilla Minus One being such a banger of a good Godzilla movie, and the Monarch TV show right now, MonsterVerse fans are eating good. Like, it is a good time to be a fan of all this stuff. Just starting at the beginning of the trailer footage, working our way through shot by shot, talking about Easter eggs, WTF moments. Godzilla x Kong, the new empire, is basically a reference to the Hollow Earth. That is the new empire. They say that the movie is going to challenge your assumptions about the origins of the world, basically. The actual full synopsis of the movie says it's going to delve further into the histories of the Titans, like the origins of the Titans, the mysteries behind Skull Island and beyond, while uncovering the mythic battle that helped forge these extraordinary beings and tied them to humankind forever. But in the trailer, Rebecca Hall's character, who comes back from the first film, most of the characters from the first film come back with a few exceptions, talks about all the stuff that they're discovering in the Hollow Earth, the origins of these other Titans, completely changing their ideas on the origins of life on the planet. Not sure where this coastline is. This doesn't look like Skull Island. Then we travel to the pyramids where Rebecca Hall is talking about challenging our assumptions about the knowledge of life on the planet, basically. She's basically talking about all these other titans and everything that was going on in the Hall of Earth. Like, no, 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 that's where everything started. Then we see Kong bursting through in what seems like Egypt with a giant new weapon attached to his hand. We see him running with later in the trailer. I think that's to give him more of a fighting chance against this other new orangutan titans, the other titans he's going to be fighting. Then we go down to the hollow earth and just like we saw in the last movie, the perspective switches a little bit so it looks like you're seeing it upside down, but it kind of exists in an upside down way. Like it's basically like a cave with part of it existing on the roof of the cave and part of it existing underneath, just the way the gravity works down there. Then we see what looks like Monarch following Kong through the hollow earth. He does not have the weapon attached to his hands. So this might be earlier in the movie before he gets that. 
Then we see a couple of the characters, Taylor and Kong, who are back from the first movie with a few exceptions. Rebecca Hall is back, like I said. Brian Tyree Henry's Bernie Hayes is back. He used to work at Apex, remember, so he is actually pretty smart. There was just that whole conspiracy theory runner of his in the background during that last movie. And as we see later in the trailer, Kaylee Hoddle is back as Gia, who's just a little bit older in this movie, obviously. Done a little bit of growing up. But as you probably saw, this other dude with them here is Dan Stevens. He's playing Dr. Trapper. I don't know much about what's going on with this character, only that he's like the main dude in the movie in this one. Then we get one of our first big reveals in the trailer, like big WTF moments, and it is Son of Kong, only Brian Tyree Henry calls it Mini Kong. Love the way that Kong is also fooled by this shadow here, like, oh, gotta get ready. Somebody's gonna come attack me. Wait a minute. It's like this tiny little mini version of me. There are a couple moments later in the trailer that I think let us know exactly where Son of Kong came from. He's not his actual son. It seems like he was born to two of the other members of Kong's race here who are forced to serve the Scar King. They're just like living down here in the hollow earth with the red hands painted on their chests. But I think the whole son of Kong in this equation here, like where this little mini Kong becomes more of a son of Kong type of character like the classic Toho movies, is that maybe it befriends Kong and Kong kind of takes it under its wing. Kind of the same way that it took Gia under his wing. Basically the same idea, just with another member of its race. And I think part of the idea here about learning the origin of the Titans, the history of the Titans, is that Kong learns what happened to his race because he saw a bunch of bones of their people around that throne room where it seems like the Kongs used to rule a long time ago before the Scar King came along. So early theory is that Kong learns what happened to Mini Kong here, that he's threatened by the Scar King. The other members of his race are basically trapped by him and he wants to rescue that, wants to save them. That's why he probably takes on the Scar King. Notice too, later in the trailer, Rebecca Hall's character says that he will not be alone because he has Godzilla, obviously, and Godzilla is busy evolving his powers too. I think part of the idea is that Kong has been living in the Hollow Earth since the events of the first movie and discovers what's going on with the Mini Kong, the other Kongs that are trapped, the Scar King, and gets involved in that battle on his own, but then needs help from Godzilla to actually defeat the Scar King, and that's how Godzilla comes back into the movie. Now you know what we need to do in the next movie too. If we're doing Son of Kong in this movie, eventually that means that they're probably going to try and do Son of Godzilla at some point too. Dan Stevens' character sees the red handprint from the Scar King. It's basically the blood of other Titans. It's like a Titan hunter or a Titan killer basically. You can see it literally wearing the bones of other Titans. It looks like they discover the aftermath or like some battle from the Scar King. Rebecca Hall's character kind of discovers what's going on. Then Kong discovers the bones of his other ancestors. Then we see all the other members of Kong's race here that seem like they're trapped in what is like the throne room of the makeshift throne room of the Scar King. I did a video on this like a long time ago when they released the teaser trailer. I think it still looks like a giant orangutan, like a 400 foot tall orangutan. Not sure what's going on with all these titans and why they're chasing Kong. It might have something to do with the Scar King. If he truly is king of the hollow earth right now or ruling over the hollow earth, maybe all the other titans are just doing whatever he wants them to do. Maybe he just sets them after Kong, like, go kill that. Then it looks like there's actually a race of human beings living in the Hollow Earth. Now, this seems like Gia's character, or maybe somebody who's connected to Gia. Because this energy looks so similar to the energy that's evolving Godzilla's new powers, I would normally say that this area here, like this temple-looking place, is something connected to Godzilla, but I don't think they're looking at Godzilla here then it looks like the Scar King unleashes some of the Titans on the surface. And that's where like the real threat in the movie comes from. Like the Scar King is threatening to take over the entire planet. Whatever's going on here, it seems like Gia is just ascending that pyramid. Then it seems like for a little while, Kong has to deal with that threat by himself until they say that he will not be alone. And we see what's happening with Godzilla. And it looks like he's somewhere in the Arctic evolving his body using that same hollow earth energy, like that same purple energy. You can see his body rippling with it, and when he uses his atomic breath later in the trailer, it's purple instead. There's probably some other twist to the power, too. It's probably just like some super version of his atomic breath or super version of his normal abilities that power himself up. There's a quick montage of the Scar King on his throne with the bones of all the other titans around him. Then we actually see him full on, like you should get a much better look at him. These are all the members of Kong's race that are being held captive. Notice they got the red handprints all over their body, just to mark them as servitude to the Scar King. There's a much better shot of Godzilla powering up his atomic breath with his new power. And we see one of our big team-up moments with Godzilla and Kong running together inside the Hollow Earth. Just a couple of bros just trying to take down another villain. 
And like I said, in this scene, Kong has that power-up weapon attached to his hand. Maybe he gets that later in the movie after they discover that his normal weapon either gets broken or isn't enough to fight the Scar King. Because of the song they use to say, Welcome to my world, that's obviously another reference to the Hollow Earth itself. And they just end with that funny tag scene of Brian Tyree Henry calling Son of Kong, Mini Kong. Even though the trailer only says the movie's coming out in 2024, it's actually supposed to come out at the very beginning of March 2024. I don't know why they didn't put March in here. Maybe they plan on shifting the date just a little bit, or they want to be a little more ambiguous about it. Overall, this is just a teaser trailer, so it doesn't give us too much of the actual story. It seems interesting. There are a couple interesting additions, like Son of Kong, this new Scar King. I don't know how much of Godzilla's origin story or Godzilla's ancestors we'll be seeing during the movie, but it sounds like they'll be focusing a lot on Kong's ancestors and his race. And I will say, if you have not seen Godzilla Minus One, it is probably one of the best movies of the year, if not one of the best Godzilla movies of all time. It is actually really, really good. But it is a totally different type of energy than these more modern MonsterVerse movies. So if you're looking for something more in the vein of classic Godzilla, it was made on like a budget of $15 million, but it is fantastic. It looks fantastic. Post all your reactions to this trailer in the comments, and if you have seen Godzilla Minus One, also post your reactions to that movie in these comments too. I haven't done any videos for the Monarch MonsterVerse TV series, but so far it's been pretty solid. There's supposed to be at least eight episodes, I believe. There's a bunch of big stuff coming up because it was Brazil Comic Con this weekend. There's a bunch of trailers. I'll try to do videos for everything as fast as possible, so be sure to enable alerts for my channel so you don't miss any of that. Click here for my House of the Dragon Season 2 trailer video, and click here for the Boys Season 4 trailer video. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.